Oh, hello. I'm Yanis Yanguar, and in this tutorial, I am going to go over the weapons I and I, and hopefully uh, show you how to make a new weapon for yourself. See you in a second. So in this example, I'm going to use the boss's MIG missile weapon. Um, I also have the uh, upgrade for the nuke weapon. So this is typically for the MIG is the napalm weapon. So as you can see, um, a lot of this is really self-explanatory. So, you know, you have the primary damage, the radius of that damage, the secondary damage, and the radius of that secondary damage. So Next, we have the damage type, which in this case is jet missiles. Um, there are several different damage types to choose from. Um, if you head over to the armor INI, you can get a list of the damage types that you can use. In this case, as you can see, jet missiles is right there. Um, and they all have their all similar effects, and the armor actually is meant to um, be a hazard, or rather protection against certain stuff. Um, yeah. Next, you have Def Type, which is similar to Damage Type. It's uh, um, similar. You go down the list. Um, I don't know the exact things for it because, as you can see, Explosion and Exploded are different, but similar ideas, really. Um, you can just follow the other ones for it. Use Exploded versus Explosion. I haven't seen much of a difference. Um, and then we have range and minimum attack range. This is uh, pretty self-explanatory. This um, next we have the object used. In this case, the napalm missile. That's the the normal jets missile. Um, this can be many many different things. This will typically be a reference to the weapon objects I and I, uh, and you can just you know play with any of this stuff if you want to. Be sure to save. Next, we're going to be looking at some of the uh, particle system fun. This will have the exhaust for the, uh, the so that would be the back of the missile. So it's as it streams along. Um, if you see my special, you'll notice that my nuke has a red with a magenta smoke behind it. This is a similar concept to that. And so in this case, you would be able to find this in the uh, particle system. There it is right there. And then uh, same thing for the heroic. Next, we will be looking at the fire effect and the projectile detonation effect. These can be found in the FX list um, for reference. Um, as you can see, this effect um, creates a sound, and then in addition to that, you have the detonation effect, which um, creates additional, uh, of course, additional sound, but it also creates different particles, so it causes the uh, this particle to trigger when it's just so on and so forth. Um, and of course you can just add it on there too if you wanted to copy that, rename it, and then just change these or add your own or mix and match. Um, you can do all kinds of fun stuff there. Next, um, who can it hurt? Allies, enemies, civilians essentially, and not similar. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, don't really worry about that. The delay between shots is the delay between shots is 300 milliseconds. So think of it like a pew pew. You know, clip size is self-explanatory. In this case, it's two missiles, and the reload time is eight seconds. That's uh, 8,000 milliseconds. And then it has its auto reclip state. In this case, since it is a airplane, it needs to go back to the airfield and to. Uh, to reload, in this case, return the base. You can also change this to uh, yes, and it will just reload the, the actual airplane. Will reload as clip in midair, um, like 
kind of like recharge. So it will recharge itself in eight seconds. Um, next, what can you do, or uh, rather, what can the weapon hurt? It is anti-ground, so it can shoot anything on the ground. In addition, can it shoot anti, uh, um, can it be anti-air, so can it shoot other planes? Yes. Can it also shoot infantry, so like para drop? Yes. Um, can I show you how many, how much ammunition I have? Yes, so, you know, in this case, it'll be, uh, show me I have two missiles, or how many missiles I shot, one, or even out of ammunition, zero. Um, return the base, of course. Next, we're going to have the detonation, um, the, pro the projectile's detonation. Um, this is the, where the fun stuff really goes down. So, as you can see, it's a object creation list input, so that's what OCL stands for. And let's go check that out. At the object creation list uh, input, you can see it creates the objects um, fire field small and radiation field medium field. And so what these inputs are, are actually um, in the uh, system I and I. And then you uh, can see right here what they end up creating. Um, he, this is the lifetime of it, how long it actually stays in the ground. So let me actually, going to change that up the, let's change that up, up to the 35. So it'll be random in between that. Um, and then as you can see, it has another weapon input, which if we go back to, uh, to the weapon I and I, you can, uh, see that it has its own little input right here. Um, next, you have the uh, projectile can collide with. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty much, you know, structures. Uh, um, I don't know, actually, what other inputs there are, now thinking about it. Apparently, it's if there's a few options only, but structure seems to be the most one. Otherwise, it's enemies and uh, some other weird stuff. Um, we went over this. Um, this is the shockwave amount, so how much like the screen rumbles and a little bit of like woo type of effect like the Crusader tank does. Um, so you can play with those, have a little fun with that. Next we have the bonus. Um, in this case, uh, this is the MIG weapon, and the MIG weapon can create a firestorm if it has enough uh, missiles. In this case, I have it set to that it uh, creates a bonus fire for five seconds when four missiles are hit in the same area and it creates I guess it has that's the bonus I don't know specifically now I'm thinking about it um, and it creates this weapon which is in the weapon I and I and usually refers back to a object creation list object which ends up being basically the particle stuff and all that good stuff. Yep. Um, feel free to, uh, you know, interchange stuff. You can use other weapons to uh, fill in the blanks, you know, put a fire effect for another fire effect. Um, you can even create your own by basing it on what's already part of that weapon if you want to. Um, have all the fun you want. See you next time. Thanks.